Hey, yo, yo, it's your boy Fab ENT, aka Tommy Black, man. Here with another episode of Fresh Faces. I'm here with my boy Finkel Tweez. What's the deal, dog? What's going on, bro? Chillin', chillin', man. So, for, for the people that don't know you, man, let them know who you is. I'm following Finkel Tweez, man, right there, off of Schaefer and Hubble. You know me in between that area and shit. RMO 1500 block. Okay, that's your area, huh? Yeah, man. So what was it like growing up in that area, man? You know, man, it's just like every other hood, man. In and out of trouble. You feel me? Just wild, ba young. Basic hood shit, huh? Yeah, man. So how 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 was your household coming up, man? Did you have um did you have like a two parent household with your pops in, in your life? Yeah, my pops is in my life, man. Well, not my real pops, so you feel me? Uh, my mama's boyfriend, he took care of me since I was three months old, so you feel me? That's my pops, you know? Okay. But, yeah, I, uh, I was back and forth, man. I stayed with my grandma most of the time over there on Finkel and shit, man. And then, you feel me? I've been getting, I was getting into some trouble, so I moved with my pops. And then, I, when we was first growing up, my mom and my pops were together, and then shit, we were staying, me and my brother were staying with them, and then they split up, and then it was just a whole bunch of back and forth. Okay, back and forth, man. You had a pops in your life. That's what's up, though. So what school did you go to in that area? Like, what school is in that area? Man, Triple C's, man. Whoever from that area know what that means. Coming that young, serving E. Cooley. Got kicked out of Cooley when I was, like, 10th grade. Then I had to go to Westside. Okay, Westside Academy, huh? Yeah, man. Okay, that's what's up, man. So, 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 what, what, what started you into rap, man? What made you get into the rapping scene? Uh, for real, for real. I mean, I always tried to rap and really do little freestyles with my cousins and shit like that. But who really got me into this shit was my nigga Son of Rose. You feel me? You, you and Rose clicked up and said it was popping on since then, huh? Yeah, uh, shit. His brother, my best friend. Shit, he introduced us. We got a little click popping and shit. We've been tight ever since. That's what's up. That's what's up. So mate, so um, how long you been rapping? Shit, taking it serious. Probably about like two years, three years, something like that. Okay, like two, three years. So before rap, man, what what kind of music was you listening to? You like straight street shit? Like who who was your artist coming up? Cause you know everybody had that Fifty Cents and. What was your era? What was your era? Man, I was really into Plies and Wayne, you feel me, growing up. It was really Plies Wayne, Jeezy, you feel me, a little bit of T.I. And then high school came into play and then shit, dope boys cash out, you feel me, Team Eastside. I really fuck with the whole Detroit scene though, to be honest, but growing up, it was really Wayne and Plies. Yeah, yeah, Detroit definitely popping right now. So when you go in the studio, man, what's your recording process? Is it, do you like like quiet? Do you want it turned up, females? Do you freestyle? You go in there and have your shit written? What's your recording process like? I mean, every session is different, man. It's like sometimes I be wanting to go in there just me by myself, and then it's good. The other times it be like me, and my niggas in that bitch. You feel me? We vibe off each other and shit like that. Like me and Santa Rose got. Some Chemistry in that bitch. So whenever me and him and that bitch together, is, we bound to make something come shake. You feel me? But majority, I just said, well, I can't smoke. But my my thing, what got me popping in the studio is really just in that bitch blowing. So what's going on, man? Why you can't smoke? Yeah, a little probation holding nigga back. You feel me? Place to sit, man. Uh, you know, everything nigga go through it every now and then. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. You don't want to speak on that situation, man. To probation, like. Yeah, ain't really too much to speak on. Nigga did some dumb shit, you feel me? Fuck around in Livonia, man. Can't be fucking around out there, man. You feel me? Doing it. Your shit ain't together. But yeah, fuck around in Livonia, man. Some little bullshit happened, you feel me? A car with no license, you feel me? And then after that, caught another little bullshit ass case, doing some dumb ass shit, you feel me? Extended the probation, so it's just like. That shit just make everything all bad, but I'm coping with it. Yeah, man, because I ain't gonna lie, man. You kind of went viral on, on Facebook, man. They kind of they kind of saw you on the book, man. You want to speak on that? You want to touch on that? No, it's a touchy, touchy situation, man, for the people, man. Let everybody know what it is. I mean, shit, it was a little minor situation, you feel me? A nigga thought he came on the lick, you feel me? Shit went bad. 
That's how that shit went. Okay, okay. So we're going to um, hop to the next thing, next subject. So what you looking to get out of music? Like, you want the fame, you want the money. A lot of niggas be rapping nowadays, and they just, like, clout chasing and... You know what I'm saying? What you looking to get out of rap? You want you in it for the money? You just like the the craft? What is it? I mean, like I said, I always had a little thing for rap, so it's something I always wanted to do. It ain't really fame nor money. I mean, the money good, fame fame cool too, but it's like really, it's just like, it's an art to me, so it's like, shit, I get shit off my mind, you feel me? And then shit, I got some shit to be, you feel me? I got a lot of shit to be hired, you feel me? And, a lot of shit niggas ain't doing, you know, you know the Detroit scene, a lot of these niggas be boosting in their raps and shit like that. So, nine times out of ten, what you hear me rap about is like something I done been through or something that's bound to happen or shit. You hear me rap about some money, nigga, you can see I'm really getting money type shit. You feel me? So, it's just like, I don't know, it's just a passion to me. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So I say you. I hear you. Hear you say you in the um, Detroit scene, man. So if you had two artists, just two, to pick from the city, to do a feature with right now, who would it be? Be honest. I'm really fucking with. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I pick Lonnie Bands and shit. Payroll. That's for the simple fact. You feel me? We're from the same hood. We know the same people. We'd have been around each other a couple times and shit like that, so it's like more of a vibe of situation than you feel me with Lonnie. It's like I know a lot of all the band gang niggas, you feel me, straight gang, free my nigga Boots, free my nigga Stone, RP Stunt Man, free my nigga Mills. You feel me? I know all them niggas, we all grew up together and shit like that, so. Okay, okay. Say Lonnie, Lonnie and Pay, huh? Yeah, Pay, Pay kind of running the Detroit scene right now, huh? Yeah, for sure. Think what I don't need. All right, so if you had um two people to pick out the industry or some industry shit, man, you, you just happen to get that one song and pop, had two people to choose, niggas all on your head, who you choose to, out the industry? Be honest, I pick, I like NBA Youngboy. NBA? It'd be, it'd be NBA Youngboy and then... Yeah, I say NBA young boy, and then just for the simple fact here around the same age group as me, I fuck with Chief. Chief Keith? Yeah, I fuck with Chief Keith. Oh, you say you going to get goats, huh? Yeah, man. All right, man. This 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 for the ladies, man. The ladies on some on some ladies type shit, man. Ladies want to know, man. You single, man? You fuck with anybody? I mean, it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> This is a situation right now, but I'm working on it, you feel me? Me and my baby mom, we trying to see eye to eye, but as of now, I'm, I'm single, you feel me? But, you know, I ain't really looking for no relationship. It's all fun and games right about now. So you young chilling, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, so, so I, say, I see it been a lot going on in the, in the industry, man. How you feel about this Nipsey Hussle situation, man? That shit crazy, what happened to, happened to Dog, man? How you feel about that shit? I mean, that's fucked up, man. I don't want to see nobody, you feel me? Don't nobody deserve that shit, you feel me? Not even my worst enemy, but it's like... That's what comes with the shit. You got a lot of haters, you feel me? A lot of niggas that want to see you doing bad and shit like that, but... As far as Nipsey, though, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really listen to his music, but... I like the type of person that he was, you feel me? He did a lot of positive things for his community and shit like that. And that's the type of shit that motivate niggas to do better, you feel me? But that's some hating ass shit, and niggas don't take that, the type of nigga like that out the game, you feel me? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, it's this like a little quote, man. If you got a message to the to the, to your fans that you got now, and to your new fans that you about the game, what be your what be your message to your fans? I mean, I mean, just. Let's stay loyal to the people that surround you, man. You feel me? Everybody, you want to. It's like crabs in a barrel. Everybody want to bring somebody down. So it's like, as long as everybody keeping it 100 with one another, you feel me? Stay out the way of those you don't fuck with. The ones you do fuck with, show them the most support. Show them the most loyalty you can. You feel me? That's just how it is. I feel that. I feel that. All right, man. 
No, we ain't gonna wrap it up, man. It's my interview with my boy Finkel Tweez. Forever ENT. Alright, man. So let me let me just throw this out there. So if you had a what's your top five what's your top five pick of the of the, of the, of the, of the women? You got a top five pick of any women you can hit right now out the industry. You got a you got a top five, man. What's your top five looking like? Cardi B is definitely number one. Cardi B? I like number her. one? Yeah, man, cause she feel me. She or, you can tell, I mean you niggas don't really know her personally, but you can tell, bro, by what she been through, nigga, that's a real ass bitch. You feel me? Real ghetto. Feel me? Slash classy with it though, you feel me? Like that. She just keeping one hundred, you feel me? That she is so she'd definitely be number one. And I say number two. Uh, number two, I, I, it gotta be Chloe Kardashian. Chloe? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, she Chloe? kinda scudded with it, but sexy as fuck, man. You feel me? So you need a Kardashian in the top five. Right, huh? Kardashian, straight pregnation. <laughs> <laughs> and then shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Black China, dog. <laughs> Black China. Oh, she know. You know she looking for the young hot nigga. I don't give a fuck. She ain't getting a dollar out of me. The young hot nigga on the scene. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> her. Man. Okay, that's three. I cast off. Feel me? She cast off. City boss bitch. Feel me? She sexy with it too. Oh yeah, cast then, out definitely in the top five for sure. And then I. Probably Janine Aiko. Janae Aiko, however you pronounce her name. Janae Aiko? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sexy, so, crazy bitch right there. So you need a foreign so in that top five, huh? For sure. Is that five? Yeah, 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 yeah that's top five. So running back, you say Cardi B? Cardi B, Chloe, Cash Dive, Janine Aiko, Black China. Black China? Okay, that, that boy say he going for top notch. None of them low barrel bitches, huh? Like that, it's just like shit. Them the first that came to mind, so I know that's who I want. Okay, okay, man. It's your boy Fab E and T wrapping them interview up. Fresh faces, my boy Fecal Tweez. Four one down, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all check his music out. Got a little video coming up for y'all. We just dropped a new video too. Uh, Thug Cry, me and my nigga Santa Rosa going Thug crazy Cry. on that bitch. It's in the bio. And we, so what you so what you got on the flow next, man? What, what's coming? You say you just dropped a single. What, what you gonna do with that? Uh, got a tape coming for the people. You got a, more singles about to drop. How you about to play? Man, me and my nigga Rose trying to put a tape together, man. They been in the working for a minute now, though. But it's definitely coming for sure. But mm, probably about to shoot a video in the, in the next week or so. Get it together. We just, but we do got, we got trophies dropping also, and then we also got this song with uh, Stun Hard Buddha, Hop called Hot Boys. Me and my nigga Ross, Puff be shooting it with Jay Shotty. That's it. Then I did a net for, for my next single. I don't know what I got coming up yet. It's gonna be a surprise though. It's definitely gonna be a banger though. Okay, so you say you just gonna hit him over the head with video, 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 then just bless him with something, huh? Yeah, that's the other way, only way to go, man. Like. Yeah, all right, man. It's your boy Fab VNT wrapping it up with my dog Finkel Tweez, man. Y'all check out, check out his new single, Stud Cry. About to throw that up here. Let y'all get a little snippet of that. Fab VNT checking out Fresh Faces.